Kickstarter project was the TV Be Gone, which um, basically turns TVs on and off from like, 100 mile radius, 100 feet radius. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> um, yeah, so uh, doing that project, I was able to like learn about soldering the basic parts of electronic components, which I thought was really interesting. And my main project is a 3D printed robotic can that is controlled by like a glove. It's like so much fun before. So. Um, I'll demonstrate this for you. program the sensors on the fingers so you can do partial movement with the yeah. finger or is it just on or off? Yeah, it's like, um, so depending on how much you move it, it'll move the, the fingers with like a certain amount. And what did you use as, I can't, I can't see it from here, for the actuators for the fingers? Were those servos or? <laughs> yeah, these are servos and then it's like fishing. Is it one servo per finger that can make all the different movements? Oh uh, yeah, so like um, since I 3D printed it, I found that I didn't actually make I like, got it off the destroyer I was using. Uh -huh. I can only use four servos. So the pinky finger and the ring finger are both controlled by the same servo. Because like anatomically they're like they move similar. Uh, yeah. How is this uh, change your perspective on learning about prostheses? Um, I thought it was like really cool about how you could like 
control things like wirelessly. And like it was like a lot harder to actually move the things that I thought it was gonna be. It's like I just made them move up and down, but like the finger can do so much more and I didn't realize like how much you have to actually like, do to make it a finger just like you know I got more appreciation for the plan here. Um, you study about like how to power your servos and all this stuff, right? So how do you decide that what power servos you want to use for your hand? I mean like to make a big hand, like how would you decide how like you want to design a hand for your like actual project and you wanna decide like what servos you want to use? How wanna decide what full gate servos are? You can use micro servos or not? How wanna decide? So do you know the power rating of the servos? Um, so yeah, so each servo itself takes like four to six volts to actually work. And I found out that I had to power them separately, otherwise only like two of the two of the fingers would work. So like I need to figure out like I need to figure out like how much supply I needed without like actually frying the servos. I did that like, <coughs> wasn't good. Yeah. So you have like a lot of cool applications you put in there. Uh, thinking like holistically, how which one do you think is most valuable? I like the way like you can do like flex sensors, but like I think that was pretty cool because maybe you could use it like in like medicine or something to like, actually like rather than just having like a claw or something to like pick up stuff like you could do like really good. Any other questions? <laughs>